Morton, how emotional was it just walking out there and, and waving like that? Yeah, you feel it. It's uh, it's been a part of my life for nine years. I give everything. Sometimes it's been very good. Sometimes it hasn't been good enough. But like I said, for uh, I think we, the fans and and the club and everything, got more good memories of me than bad. So uh, it's uh, of course it's emotional when you when you give so much to a club and then you probably have to leave. You say there that you, you know you've had some great times with the football club. Will those be the moments that you remember? Of course, you uh, you remember up and downs. Like I said, when uh, did the program the other week when like the five most memorable games. I think five memorable. What was that? Is you I guess I can have ten in, instead. It's been much better. But like you get highs and lows. Like I said, one of the not highlight, but one of the games you remember is when you get relegated. Like it was one of the toughest times in football for me and. For the for the whole club and everybody following Black Rovers. but then we got like when you beat United away. The Norwegian will take it. It's whipped across the face. The head's coming. No one gets a touch though, and finally Rovers get the goal. Their wonderful players deserved, and it's Martin Gamps Pedersen who gives Rovers the lead. 33 minutes in, and it's Manchester United nil. Rovers won. Scores though has picked up, he's under pressure, having to go back towards his own goal, Gray intercepts, finds Pedersen in the area! And it's 2-1 to Rovers, with just 10 minutes remaining! Comical defending from Manchester United, clinical finishing from Rovers, and it's 2 for Morton Pedersen, 2 for Rovers, Manchester United 1, Rovers 2. Like Burnley and all, like so many games. Pedersen right hand side looks to cross. Good delivery in. Sinclair gets there first. Pedersen for Rovers! Oh, he could well be the hero! With just five minutes left, Martin Gump Pedersen has smashed the ball into the roof of the Burnley net. And Rovers lead in the derby by two goals to one. And it's the hero of the moment yet again, Martin Gump Pedersen! So it's so many things that you will remember, and I think yeah, after a while, I think you will even remember more memories because when you're in it, you're always looking, getting the new things, new things. But when when you stop playing football, sometimes I think you're even going to get more good memories, and uh, hopefully, well, I can watch a few games when I get older. Be proud. Right outside of the area, which the ball in left footed, Savage trying to attack, Pedersen back post, what a goal! Stunning volley from Martin Gams Pedersen. 2005 has been a wonderful year for him, and he's ended it on a quite brilliant note. Chips into the penalty area. Stojkovic comes, not convincing with his punch. The shot from Pedersen! Oh! That's brilliant! Absolutely brilliant from Martin Gams Pedersen. On the half volley, 20 yards out, rifles it into the top left hand corner. Magnificent stuff from Morton. Left footed, strikes towards goal! Wins the game with a of absolute magic it's two for Morton Gams Pedersen and that will surely mean three points for Blackburn Rovers brilliant just brilliant from the Norwegian when you think back to nine years ago when you first joined the football club did you ever think that you would have this this love affair with Blackburn it will continue for so long you never know in football that's the thing it's uh, changed quick and everything and uh it had been offered for me, I could have gone to bigger clubs, everything. I was, I've been free transfer, I stayed with the club, and uh, I've always gone where my heart takes me, you know, and everything. And, uh, and uh, it's never been like last time I signed a contract in 2010. Ten people think I just stayed there for money. It's never been a part of money to stay in Blackburn. Might come into the path of Pedersen, who brings it down. Right footed, scores! Pedersen, lovely finish! Delightful finish from Martin Gams Pedersen. Runs down the line towards the dugout. He's got a special celebration planned involving a walking stick. MGP is no OAP. Of course, it's been tough the last few years. There have been some negative things. Maybe not bad. good and bad things on the, off the, on the pitch, but off the pitch has been some things that you don't really like. And, but I always show my my love for the club and for the fans and everybody around and like I said uh, I made friends for life and I my aim is to come back here if it's tomorrow in 10 years or whenever that I can come back here with a hold, hold my head high and high and say yeah, I've been a part of this and 
I don't think maybe many people would be negative about what I've done. I think I've always been a positive person to everything that was going on. Even in the hardest time, I try to be positive, even if like your heart is bleeding like everyone else. So but, um, I'm proud of being a part of this place. And that must have meant something to you, those fans, the reception they gave you when you went out there? Of course. Like I said, I, w- I would love if I could shake everyone's hands, if I can go and say, they've been like, they're going to get credit as well for what I've done as a footballer. They've been supporting me, they, of course, they've been booing me as well, everything, but I think overall, I think people will be happy with my performance I've done for Blackburn. And uh, we had loads of good memories, and I think memories that hopefully some of them will last for long, some of them will not last for long. But like I said, uh, Blackburn will always be in my history, my mind, and in my life. For only one third of my life, I've been here and uh, shared everything, and of course, I've been lucky to, to share everything with them as well. Molson, thank you on behalf of all the supporters. You have left us with some truly memorable moments, and we'll miss you. Thank you. Thank you, Molson.